name is Peter Cadis, and we're doing something here called Inside the Track for a mix with the masters. We're at my Tarquin Studios in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and the song is called The System Only Dreams in Total Darkness. It was a pretty successful song for the Nationals. It's their first song that ever went to number one at AAA radio. The system only dreams in total darkness. Why are you hiding from me? One of the challenges was trying to make the song sound louder, brighter, more modern, but not too much so because the National really hate that. If you want the song to really be exciting, you do have to push it to a certain level. But I guess the nature of these drums was very super da 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 kind of. The harder I pushed them, the worse they got kind of. So they're, they're pretty laid back. Let's see what this maximizer is doing quickly. But that's in fact doing a lot to the mix, so that's interesting. People don't believe me when I say that I don't really add high-end, uh, I don't add high-end EQ to things. It's because I do things like add tape saturators and compressors that add high-end. I'm not saying the world is totally different today, but people are fighting more and more for a level and apparent loudness, more low end, more high end, but they still want it to be smooth, you know. Different plugins on the mix bus can make huge differences, and I'll switch it from 15 to 30. That'll give me a little more high end, but in fact, it, it's actually it's the low end that changes the most. It, it really amps up the low end. So. 